Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we have our Teletubbies nesting dolls. I love these toys. And as you know, we have been digging out some of our classic toys that we feature here on Tiny Treasures. And we'll start with our little Poe nesting doll. Now, of course, Poe has a little donut shape on her head. And this doll doesn't open. She's just the center of the nesting doll set. So she just likes to wobble. Let's open Lala. Oh, that was fairly easy. Oh, what's inside? It's a teeny tiny, oops. Oh, sorry about that, Lala. Let's put you back together. There we go. Tubby toaster. We pop the toast down and then we push the little blue button and, oh, and it pops up. Tubby toast is ready. Now we also wanted to show you this little tubby toaster we have and you push it down and it just pops up all on its own. Now what are the differences between these two tubby toasters, tiny fans? Now let's open up our Dipsy nesting doll. Oh, do you know what this is? They're little bowls of tubby custard, the Teletubbies toy's favorite food. Put up the table. There's tubby custard. And this is the tubby custard machine that makes the tubby custard. It's lunchtime. Ayo, tubby custard. And finally, we have our Tinky Winky. It's the biggest one. Oh, and it's a little tough to open. There we go. Oh my goodness. It's another Poe. And this Poe has a little green starfish in the middle. Do you know, every time I see a starfish, it reminds me of the time that crab walked over the starfish. Do you remember that video? Let's show you. It was a gigantic starfish and it was moving along the bottom of the aquarium. All of a sudden, a crab comes by and walks right over top of the poor starfish. Hopefully his pointy little feet didn't hurt the starfish. Okay, tiny fans, what character did you see hiding behind the Teletubbies nesting dolls? And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.